today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the fifth rule when we're talking about significant digits. So rule number five says trailing zeros in an integer may or may not be significant due to rounding. So what we're going to do is we're going to look to round 872,095 to five significant digits. So what we need to do is we need to look and say, okay, eight, seven, two, zero, nine are all significant because here's the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth significant digit. So we need to look at this nine then and then look one to the right and say, is this five or greater? And if it is, and five is greater than or greater than or equal to five, so our number then becomes 872,100. So then we, we ask ourselves, okay, if we've put it to five significant digits, which digits are significant? Well, we have eight, we have seven, we have two, we have one, and we have zero. Because, re because remember, we rounded to that fifth uh, place, the, sig the fifth significant digit, and so the zero is significant. Now let's take a look at the same number and we'll round it to four significant digits and I want, I want to show you something with this. So we have our first significant, second, third, and fourth significant digits. So what we're going to do is we're going to round. So what we're going to do is we're going to round by looking at the nine. The nine makes this zero a one. We put zeros on the end and then two, seven, and eight. So we're at 872,100, which we see is um, exactly the same as the other one. But then we ask ourselves, okay, which digits are significant? Well, when we start actually looking at it, we see that it's the 8, the 7, the 2, and the 1. So here we only have four significant digits because of how we round it. So the number looks the same, but we have... 8, 7, 2, and 1 as significant digits. So let's take a look at um, our rule here again. Um, we're we're kind of getting there. So if we round 398 to the tens place, okay, 398 rounds to 400 because if this is in the tens place, we look to the ones place. This 8 makes this 9 a 10, so it's almost like 0, 0, we're carrying a 1 and it's becoming 400. In a sense, you're asking, okay, is um, 398 closer to 400 or is it closer to 390? Well, it's closer to 400. So it rounds to 400. And so then we ask ourselves, okay, which digits are significant? Well, if we're in that second place, this 4 is significant because it's a non-zero. And then this 0 is actually significant due to how it was rounded because it was rounded to the tens place. So our significant digits are 4 and 0. Again, let's look at the same number, but instead, let's round to the hundreds place. So hundreds place, that's the three. We look to the right, this nine makes this a four to where we have 400. Now, if we're in the hundreds place, we're only accurate to there. So our uh, significant digit is actually only four. So again, it looks the same, but it's how we rounded it that changes uh, how many significant digits we have. So now here's an opportunity for you to practice uh, working with this fifth rule with rounding. So what I want you to do is uh, round uh, these two and then uh, state the significant digits and how many there are. So pause the video and try these two examples for me. Let's take a look at 491 rounded to the tens place. So we look and we see that the nine is in the tens place. And so then we need to look back and look at the one and say, is one five or greater? No, it's not. So our number rounds to 490. Again, is our number close to 490 or is it close to 500? Well, it's closer to 490. So we have two significant digits and the digits are four and nine. In this second example, 88,157, round to the hundreds place, okay, this two is in the hundreds place. So we look back and we say, 
is 5, 5 or greater, it is, so it becomes 88,200 and has three significant digits. The digits are 8, 8, and 2. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you bring, bring those to class. Thanks for watching.